Hi, this is a, a very simple example of how to create a, a user interface using mono development and static. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a new project. It will be a C sharp project. I choose GTK sharp two project. What mono develop creates is a uh, uh, main application which shows a, a window, and this is the main window. I will su switch to the designer. I'm going to build <coughs> a user interface with a menu and a toolbar. And the status bar. To create the menu, I can just start typing here. I will create a rather standard menu with a new button. Open. Save. I can add a separator here. Now I, I will create a custom option. Export, which we have a zoom menu. And finally, a quick button, also an edit menu with the stata standard options for cut, copy and paste. Okay, so I have the menu now. I'm going to create the toolbar. This is the toolbar. Uh, but instead of creating here the new buttons, I'm just going to reuse the actions I have just created. So I have here the same actions, have new, I'm going to add also save, I can add a separator here as well, and then uh, copy and paste and I can also create new new buttons like go back and go next all those actions I'm creating are being uh, shown here in the toolbox, so I can, for example, just take, uh, go back, uh, just create it and move it here. So this action here will be the same I have in the toolbar. Okay, I, I'm going now to add the main editing area here. It will be a table with a set of labels and entries. Let me add some margin. Okay, so this will be main some entries and this column I don't need it so just remove it 
Also, I'm going to add uh, my one here, which will be the, the status bar. I'm going to change the name of the widget to be the status. Also, let me change entry name. Okay, I can now test this application. Let me build and run. Oops, here it is. It doesn't do much now. What I'm going to do now is to bind some events so I can show you how to work with events and signals. So, what I will do is when user types something here, it will update the, the status bar. So for this, I select the entry and the signal tab and go to change event. If I double click, I set the event handler. If I double click again, I go to the handler. So here I can just update the status bar. The name of the widget of the status bar is label status, so I can just type this. Text. So let me quick, quickly try this. As you can see, it is updated. Now I can also set events for the actions. I have just created so for example if I click on new and keep clicking on this action what it will we will do is clean the entry and also I want to reset status of this action, I mean disable it. So this is the save action. So I can just set the sensitive property to false here. Also I will set it to true here when when the user types some text it will enable the save button. So the result is that I can type here some text. I click on new, it cleans the text and also disable the button. And in the menu it, it works in the same way. That's because the action bound to the menu and to the toolbar button is the same. So everything is synchronized. And well, that's all. Thank you for watching.